Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the USC Trojans and the Michigan State Spartans. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Spartans are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Next, hand the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if we can get their big man in foul trouble. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Trying to draw some contact. And one too many dribbles and a steal. You got to be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. Looking for a good shot. The small forward takes the feed. The frustration right there. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Inside. There he is, strips the ball loose. He keeps the dribble as they reset. And Dick, this is just playing good deep. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Wheeler is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Fed the low block for the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. I want to see that again. Inside, the center takes the pass. Got to think right. The shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Rims out. He gets the rebound. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. He'll regroup the offense. Moving it around the perimeter. Stolen away. They get out on the break. The small forward gets the pass. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Trying to pack it inside. The small forward with the ball. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Shows patience waiting for the reset. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Sinks the shot. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Dump it inside. 
They move it into the front court. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. In the paint. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They're working around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Takes it off him. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. it around the arc goes for the deep one takes the board they need to get out and run their lanes now our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen i'm brad nessler with dick vitale and our friend ea aaron andrews checking in from the sideline on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to dive the ball. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Doesn't go. In the paint. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they'll bring it up. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land for two. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. The center gets the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Sinks it. Here's the replay. up strong and that's going to be an offensive foul oh great call by the official he beat him to the spot that's essential defensively with a bucket great play to take that to the basket Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. With the block. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I post screen, gonna use it. Defense giving some room. Top of the circle. The Spartans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Yeah, he's on fire. It's stolen. Here they go into the break. Goes up for two. That's a 7 0 run. Gives it up. Unloads a three. Makes the shot. A 
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two, and in and out. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Up and in. There's the trap. Ricks in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Michigan State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Picks off the pass. Basic. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. To the line. First shot, good. Foul shot, no good. He grabs the board. Stolen ball. Here they come on the break. Buries it. Michigan State may have had one of the best players ever don the Spartan logo in the late 70s. The magician, Mr. Nestler. He was a great one. He could play any position on the floor. He'll definitely go down as one of the best. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Turns it over. the inside nice move with a face up I'll tell you one thing Brad I like guys that are versatile in that post facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves he launches a three gets it to fall that's an 8-0 run both teams looking to get things going here and he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. With the free throw. Makes the shot. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. USC have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the pass in the paint, trying to draw the foul. He gets that one to fall. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Nice fake. Looking for the foul. He missed the easy buck. It's good. It was on its way down. That's worth another look. 
Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. On the outside. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Spartans have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there. But look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. the inside with a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. The dribble gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. From way outside, he nails the bucket. Here's another look at the play. Controlling the ball. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. It's good. That's worth another look. Here's the three ball. It sticks. pass in the paint thinks about the shot as one of the better players on the team's roster he's expected to make big plays isn't he Dick? Yeah, and I say it all the time it makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays leans in drops the bucket despite the harm Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Pressure that basketball. Strips the ball. Working around the perimeter. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Number 33 gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. Makes the foul shot. it up 
That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Top, controlling the ball. Basket falls despite the contact. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. On the outside. Great anticipation defensively. Jumps into the defender. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Jumped in front to take it away. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He shoots from downtown, gets it to go. Shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Steals the pass. Tries to get the D to bite. Looking for a good shot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For two. And he scores despite the hat. We strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For the bucket. Buried it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. Up and in. Shot clock is dead. Takes the pass in the paint. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. <laughs> oh. 
He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He hits the tough shot. Dante's not going down with ease, Brad. At halftime, the Spartans are trailing by 10. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. All right, Dick. Let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. Long. Couldn't really get it going in the first half, Dick. And they're suffering big time because of it, Brad. It's going to take more than just him to climb back into this game. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Erin. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Up and inside. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And a momentary look from three-point land. Almost lost the basketball. For the bucket. Oh, yes. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the top of the circle. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Puts it up, looking for contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Look at that spacey. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I he posterized them. Step out on that screener. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He goes to the free throw line. Need to make that. He cleans the glass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. He gets the bucket. the dribble gives it up tries for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is goes up for two he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score the perimeter he blocks the shot the ball goes out of play 
Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. A block party out there. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. For two. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Gave it up. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. On the inside, he uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Trojans are up by 15. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. I'll tell you what, coach may have to invite the mascot to the tryouts next year. That guy's got great jumping ability. Did you see him after the last dunk? What a high riser. This guy wants the blood. Post flashes. Entry pass in the paint. Gets it back out. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. With the free one. He makes the first shot. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBA. Oh, what a hard screen there. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Foster receives the pass. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And again, they look to run. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gilliam handles the feed. There's the trap. I think they're trying to make a statement. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. alley -oop. leaning in, trying to draw contact. On the 
outside. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I tell you, it must be nice. Fake. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Two shots. He hits the first shot. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Hits the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. The Spartans have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. He's got a nice shot fake with a little baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what he does, he keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He does the sweet fake shot. And take some pride on a defensive end. Rejected. It's stolen. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tries for two. Up and in. He shoots from the top of the circle. Good. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Picks off the lazy pass. Cross court. Goes up for two. Scorches the net. The Trojans lead by six. They'll work it around the arc. Long receives the ball. From right at the circle. Off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. The small forward handles the pass. Tries for two.
Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He takes the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Coming inside. Steals the pass. Jumps in. Michigan State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the key. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Takes the pass. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Scorches the net. How about an instant replay? Looking for a good shot. Great defense. Gave it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Goes up for two. They still don't score. That's a nice fake. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the ball goes out of bounds. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. They work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Trojans are up by four. With the jumper. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For the bucket, rims out. Tries for two. The lane. This one might go down to the final buzzer. You've got to love these close moves, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Off the rim and no good. the dribble gives it up and now with a power move on the inside did a great job protecting the basketball seals the defense off and explodes to the basket Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I tell you, defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He gets the rejection. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Ten on the shot clock. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Now they work it around the perimeter. The fake. From left of the circle, the Trojans have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And a momentary look from three-point land. From left of the circle, the Spartans have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. He shoots from left of the circle. He hits it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. In and out. Up and inside. Gave it up. He pump fakes. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Goes up for two. The Spartans have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Picks off the pass. The post flashes up high if he wants it. For the deuce, basket falls despite the contact. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He gets it to fall. Kicks it out. He tries the three. Yes! Time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. Picked off. The kick out. 
for two and off the mark. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one-and-one. One. Misses the second. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. With the freebie. Hits that one. Makes the second. Time out. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. Ready to resume. It's a nine point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. He tries the three ball. He misses it. Great job of getting down the floor. Yeah, they halted the fast break. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking to move it around the perimeter. USC is in the bonus. There's the turnover situation for the hat pick. I'd say the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in a game at the end drops significantly. Misses the front end of the one and one. And a great defensive rebound puts the finishing touch on this game. Hey, the rebound hound brings it home. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. USC is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.